Hello my dear students, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we are going to discuss important questions of class 10 from chapter 2, the elixir of life. And yes, these questions are also taken from previous board exam papers. So today's video is going to be very important and interesting for specialty class 10 students. Those are going to appear at the board exams. So if you are viewing my, viewing my video for the first time, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notifications of all the coming videos so that you don't miss any one of it. And do watch the video till end so that you do not miss any of the important questions from this video. And if you like it at the end of the video, you do hit the like button and comment in the comment section. Also, do not forget to share the video and the link with your friends so that even they can take the benefits and prepare for the exams. So students, let's move on to the video and see what are the important questions of this chapter. So we are going to discuss uh, one mark, two marks and three marks questions separately from this chapter, especially from chapter two, Elixir of Life, making it more easy for you all. So let's see first one mark questions which are likely to come from this chapter. Okay. So question number one is what according to the writer is the real elixir of life? Answer is according to the writer, the real elixir of life is the commonest of all liquids, water. Question two, what does the writer compare water in the landscape to? Answer, water in the landscape is compared to the eyes in a human face. Okay, so these are the questions of one mark. Now let us see the two marks category questions. Here we have question number one. What are civilized forests? What is their role in checking soil erosion? Answer. The systematic planting of trees in every possible way for the development of forest is called civilized forest. They check the soil erosion and conserve the rainfall of the country from flowing away to waste. Next question. Mention any two advantages of civilized forests. Answer. Civilized forest would directly and indirectly prove a source of untold wealth to the country. They would check the soil erosion and conserve the rainfall of the country from flowing away to waste. Next question number three. How does prevention of soil serve a double purpose? Answer. The problems of soil erosion and of irregular rainfall are closely connected with each other. It is clear that the adoption of techniques preventing soil erosion would also help to conserve and keep water where it is wanted in the soil and such techniques therefore serve a double purpose. Okay. So now let's see three marks questions from this chapter. And here you can see there are two types of questions. It is twisted. It can be in either of the form, but the answer remains the same. So let's read both the question and then the answer for it. So question is, what does C.V. Raman say about the beauty of countryside and the rain-fed tanks? Or the question may be asked as, how does Sir C.V. Raman describe the rain-fed tanks? So for either of the questions, the answer remains the same, okay? So answer is, the rain-fed tanks are so common in South India, but are so sadly neglected in their maintenance and are a cheering sight when they are full. These tanks play a vital role in South Indian agriculture. Some of these tanks are surprisingly large and it is a beautiful sight to see the sun rise or set over one of them. Water in a landscape may be, may be compared to the eyes in a human face. It reflects the mood of the earth, being bright and gay when the sun shines, turning to dark and gloomy when the sky is overcast. Okay, so this will be the answer for both of these type of questions. 
let's move on to the next one how does sir cv raman show that the water is the real elixir of life so answer is cv raman shows that water is the real elixir of life he gives us the example of the libyan desert where there is no vegetation and not a single living thing visible on the other hand in the immediate neighborhood the nile valley is teeming with vegetation and people the water of the nile valley has made all the difference he says water is a wonderful thing and has shaped the civilization of the earth he also highlights that the presence of water makes the countryside beautiful and it has enabled agriculture to thrive water enriches soil and makes it fertile if water is used judiciously it can improve our economy by generating electricity as well as provide us with cheap means of internal transport he also tells us that water is fundamental for human life and welfare okay so this is the answer for this question next what are the various causes of soil erosion how can it be prevented answer soil erosion is a major problem in india there are many reasons and causes of soil erosion like a sudden downpour of heavy rain can result in excess water carrying top soil into the sea the slope of the land and the removal of natural protective coat of vegetation the existence of rats along the river can flow rapidly the lack of ponds to prevent water from flowing forcefully it can be prevented through terrace cultivation contour cultivation construction of ponds to check water flow and planting of vegetation so here there are two sub questions and we have seen both the answers and this is a three mark question okay let's go to the next one and this is a reference to context type of question here you will have a statement a line from the chapter and you will have to write the answer in this manner let's see this uh, question is egypt in fact was made by its river so this is a sentence this is a line given from the chapter you have to write it answer is The line is taken from the lesson "The Elixir of Life" written by C. V. Raman. The writer set this context while mentioning the creation of Egypt. He says Egypt was made by the river Nile. It is sustained by the life-giving waters which come down year after year with unfailing regularity. Okay. So here, in reference to context, you have to mention the chapter's name and the author or the writer's name, and then when was this context said? In what situation? So this is how you answer the reference to context. So these are likely possible questions which are going to come from this chapter. So you can go and have a nice thorough look again. And yes, you have to be thorough with the chapter as well because the questions can be twisted and asked from any part of the chapter. and most likely the questions are already shared with you okay so i hope this video was informative and very important for you all if you liked it do hit the like button and share with your friends so that even they can take the benefits and keep watching the videos for more such videos do subscribe my channel we'll be back soon with such more other series of this videos till then thank you